Happy New Year, everybody. Uh, we are back for 2024. I'm going to be doing some pretty awesome tutorials coming up. But for this series, let's just jump straight back into it. We're going to be doing the plywood walls. I'm not sure what uh, you guys call it, maybe in other areas of the world, but in New Zealand, we call it plywood. And they're just sheets of um, timber. And what I'm going to be doing is just creating the geometry, adding the material. And then I'm going to be just arraying it on the walls and just creating some nice negative details. So let's just jump into it. So to set up the material, it's the same process actually as um, the last day. What I'm going to do is drag in my albedo, gloss, normal, reflection. I downloaded this off um, CG Trader. It's just like a plywood um, kind of material. You can get some other ones off other websites or you could just use a free timber material. It doesn't really matter, but I do like the material that you get from um, using uh, this texture. So for the normal, it's the same process. Shift A, go search. We're going to make normal map. And then we're going to drag color into color and then normal into normal. And then uh, gloss, I think is... I don't really use gloss that much. No, I think it's reflection. Let me just check the map. Yeah, oh, they're the same thing. Let's just check that into roughness. And then, yep, so albedo, normal reflection, which is like roughness. And then let's just go shift A. We're going to create a mesh. We're going to go cube. And remember snapping. Also, it's so hot in New Zealand at the moment. It's summertime and it's just ridiculous. So if you hear a fan, um, it's right behind me. I do apologize um, for that, but I will not survive without it. Um, so in the X axis, we're going to go sheets of 1.2 meters long, uh, wide, I guess you'd say. And in Z, we're going to go 2.4. Oh, wrong one. 2.4. And then the Y axis, we're going to go like maybe 10 mils. Eh, that's pretty thick. Maybe like 7 mils. Oh, so we're going to go 0 0.07. No, we're going to go 0 0.007. Just like that. There we go. And then let's just snap it to here. So what I normally do um, is I'm going to make this wall behind it black. And then the plywood is going to actually have the, well, this this um, the actual sheet will have the plywood texture on it. So I'm going to go new, uh, actually let's add the plywood to this one, let's add plywood, and then to this we're going to make a new material, let's get rid of that by pressing the X there, we're going to go new, and then we're going to just change the base color to black, or just like within, you don't want it to be absolute black because that doesn't actually happen in real life. So it's really important to keep that in mind. And then roughness, let's just max that out. So we've got one sheet here. What we're actually going to do is we're going to have another one above it. But let's just do a quick UV unwrap. Uh, so you sh select all the faces. Go into UV faces. Mark seam. We're going to go out of that. We're going to go control A. Apply all transforms. Go back in. Unwrap. And then if you have any trouble with that, have a look at the previous episode. I do a bit of a deep dive into that. So 4096, 20.48, set my TD. Again, if you don't remember, have a look at the previous episode. These episodes are going to get so long if I, you know, keep explaining the same thing. So we've got that there. I'm just going to duplicate this. You could array, but um, it's not really worth it for this. So I'm going to go a gap of 0.001. Did that work? So it should be a 10 mil gap. Nope. Gap of negative point zero zero one. Negative point zero one. Let's try that. Uh, nah. We're gonna go five mil. Negative point zero five. Nope. Negative point zero zero five. Yep, there we go. Perfect. So let's just get a few different sheets lined up. Actually, mm, yeah. 
Negative point zero five. Nope. Negative point zero zero five. Okay. Negative point zero zero five. And then what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna go select all these. We're gonna go Control A. We're gonna go unwrap. Now we're gonna go into the up here. You press that little circle. We're gonna go into the UV editor. Let's tab into all of those now, and then we're going to check out what the UVs are doing. Let's change this to the albedo of the plywood. And um, let's just set the TD again because the scale was all messed up. I think that might actually just have done it, but let's just have a look. Let's isolate these. Let's just have a look at what we've done. Um, one thing that really helps when you're doing 3D is to create variation. So all of these should have variation. They shouldn't be the exact same UV map. And that's, um, you know, that can be tricky and time consuming. But let's just rotate that 90 degrees. I'm not sure why that changed color. But actually, that's pretty good. You can kind of see the same features but if you kind of reduce the contrast a bit it doesn't matter I think these big circles are the main ones that I want to try to get rid of so for that one and that one let's just change this one we're gonna click on that face and we're just gonna go in here we're gonna go press A to select all of the UV maps and we're just gonna move it just to relocate a little bit Okay. All right, that's looking pretty good so far. Um, yeah, I think that one there, let's just move that a little bit. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. So let's go out of cycles view. Let's press tab again. And then we've got kind of a nice array of UVs that we can now um, duplicate across. We're going to rotate on the Z axis by pressing R and then Z. And then we're going to type in 180 degrees. We're going to go G, Y on the, we're moving it, grabbing it on the Y axis. And then we're going to snap to that face. So we've just rotated it because we only adjusted the UVs on one side. It really doesn't matter what happens on the other one. But we just need to make sure that we've got uh, the corrected UVs on the right side. And then I'm just going to duplicate all these just because I'm a little bit lazy. And uh, I don't necessarily need to teach you guys everything. You know, if, if you guys have a way that you can do something, just keep doing it. 0.005 cool got that gap and then let's just delete those ones there because that then I want it to kind of transition into a another material um, yeah it's pretty good I might actually just like depending on what's I might want to line these plywood sheets up with the structure so what I'm going to do is click on the structure, click on the plywoods, uh, plywood sheets. Let's just go, you can hold alt and then drag the middle mouse button to change orthographic views. And I'm going to select all these and that looks pretty good, um, but it's not really working with the, the actual structure. It's not lining up. It's a lot easier to change the structure though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag all these. So this is kind of like just designing on the go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, what is the thickness? Let's just remove this real quick. Remove that. What is the thickness of that? That is, that is 100 mils. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag, I'm going to get all of these. Uh, actually, it's over there. So let's, um, let's mirror that. So what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to shift these in 
negative point five. Nope. Negative point zero five, and that'll stop a hundred percent on that midpoint, which is what we want. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to adjust this here so that it kind of works. And we can kind of do it based off the end point. As long as the end one is correct. Then, and you can do it based off um, you can based off fixed length and stuff. But I can't really be bothered. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty good. Let's get out of isolation mode. That's pretty good. And then... Uh, let's just duplicate all these, drag them up. I'm going to go um, 0 0.05. So we've got the same gap vertically as we do horizontally. Let's go into camera view and just see out of curiosity what it's looking like. And it's looking quite good. And you can start to see the black negative lines come in, which is really cool, of the um, of the black behind it. And then let's just rotate a little bit so we can kind of see a little bit more of the negative, negative detail. So it's coming in horizontal, uh, the horizontal is looking quite good. And then you can kind of see a little bit of the vertical come in. So when it's rendered, it'll show those vertical lines a lot better as right now it's just kind of figuring it out and then maybe I might just tweak it, tweak that gap slightly um, but yeah the main thing is we've got the walls in there we might choose to add a few more details later um, but I think that's a really good uh, point to end this kind of episode off so next week we're going to be uh, doing the ceiling and ceiling joists, um, or I guess the rafters, um, and then we might be looking at adding some of the windows, some of the joinery, and then in the later episodes we'll be looking at a few tools to bring furniture into the um, into the interior, and then we might be looking at um, some landscaping and everything for the outside courtyard. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, have a look at my instagram at oliver higgins architecture if you want to see what kind of work i produce by using blender uh, for my professional work um, and yeah i hope you guys stick around for the next few episodes because i just really want to help you guys out and provide the knowledge that wasn't really available to me when i was learning so i'll see you guys next week cheers <laughs>